today's video, my friend Anna and I are going to talk a little bit about identity crisis when you're living in China as an expat. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, I'm here with my friend Anna. Could you please introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi everyone, yes, I'm Anna and I've been in China for almost 10 years now. I'm living in Anhui province with my husband and 18 month old little monkey. Yeah, <laughs> a monkey like me. Guys, we're talking about Chinese zodiac, just so you know, yeah. <laughs> it's a Chinese thing. <laughs> Yesterday, I took the train from Beijing down to Anhui province to meet Anna for the first time. We've been friends on WeChat and somewhere for a while. I don't even remember how we got in touch actually in the beginning. Do you know? It must be the blog. Yeah, so she's writing a blog, China's Lost Panda, and then I guess I've just been following you and then was spamming her with messages and then I saw her in a WeChat group and I was like, oh, I want to be friends with her. I so. know you. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of knew I've read all about you on your blog, so we're basically <laughs> friends. <laughs> Besties, what? <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's how we met. And then I think last year I was like, oh, I want to come and visit you. But then I kind of, I don't know, it didn't really happen. And then this, this year I was like, now it's time. Gonna, it's time. It's, it's cold happen. enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything else to do <laughs> and she was like you cannot get tickets right now because it's no. almost Chinese New Year yeah but here we are so yeah, it was fate. pretty 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 lucky yeah so I arrived last night and we have been out in her husband's uh, hometown right hometown village yes. the village the village mm -hmm. downtown yes yeah downtown yeah <laughs> there is one KTV and people selling meat on the street so there you go that's what we are talking about. Yeah, so in today's video we're going to talk about identity crisis, the feeling of not, the feeling, feel not feeling like you belong when you are being an expat in China. So as Anna said, she has been here for a very long time, the double as me actually, I guess. You said 2006, right? Yeah. Yeah, I came in 11, so top door. Yeah, so she's fluent in Mandarin, she has a Chinese husband and half a Chinese baby, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends. How she's much jeans from each side. <laughs> I think she's very German though, because she drinks cold things. Well, isn't that from America actually? Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. they put ice in they everything. They put ice in everything, That's right? True, yeah. Maybe she's she's just an international citizen. Right. Yeah, I'd like cold. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, just having her coffee here. Yeah, so I came up with this idea because I was looking on Anna's website, her blog, and I was reading, so that's already a few years ago, she was writing about feeling this, or having this identity crisis, and I was thinking, that's interesting, I haven't talked about this before, but I have also been going through this. I think for me, it was like I was in, in South China, and I learned Chinese, and I was so fascinated by everything, and then, I learned even more in Beijing afterwards and then I went to the, the northeast part of China with a Chinese boyfriend, Chinese family, super Chinese and I was like people keep asking me where I'm from, oh my god you know how to speak Chinese, that's great and I was like so one day it just, it just dawned on me like you can never be Chinese, like yeah you can never be Chinese and how, what, what is your experience with this? Like pretty similar. I mean, after all these years, I even speak the dialect here. She so speaks so great. I speak yeah. my Chinese husband's dialect. <laughs> I understand everything, and still mm. you get the question, "Hey, where are you from? Can you use chopsticks?" Yeah. <laughs> Duh, no, I use my hands. What do you think? After ten years in China, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? We're so tired of these questions. All that, like me having only been here almost five years, I'm like. Gosh! <laughs> like, seriously, I met a follower a few weeks ago and we were having dinner and he was like looking at me like, whoa, you know how to use chopsticks? <laughs> and I'm like, I the first week in China I learned it because they were laughing when I asked for a fork and knife in the Chinese school cafeteria. Like, Plus you can't always find them anyway. <laughs> mm -mm. You have to bring one around. I actually told my dad to bring one around. Yeah, I did the same for my mom because right? there's no way <laughs> yeah. that she's gonna, gonna she got a staff with chopsticks. <laughs> mm -mm. 
<laughs> my parents are very stubborn so they tried really hard but still I was like if you want to make sure that you have a fork you have to bring it yourself yep. yeah so so at that time when you were feeling this identity crisis I guess it's like back in 15 or 14 so that was the time when you just came here right it was the time I was still a university student and going back and forth a lot so mm. I think it also makes a difference because I was in China half a year and went back for three months mm. and then came for China and got this back and forth and you feel like where do you actually belong? Yeah, like, yeah it kind of fucks up your brain right? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. just time difference but the entire oh, yeah, culture <laughs> is different, the different language, mm. it was just crazy. Yeah, I f well I feel the same when I go back now. I'm like, my, my way of thinking is, is slightly off compared to Danish yeah. friends, you know, and like, well, just if you just, like a small example is just the fact that I think, you know, one hour is close by because of Beijing is so huge, right? I'm like, if it's less than an hour, it's great. But then my friends at home, they're like, yeah, but like half an hour, I had to sit there for half an hour and we have like traffic jam for 10 minutes. I'm like, oh my God. Oh gosh, there was like 24 hour traffic jam in Beijing, like all the time, you know? So that's when I feel different and then that's why that's when that's why after a few weeks in Denmark I'm like I should go home now to China like I say I should go home but I always say I have like my home is where my things are and my things are in Beijing so Beijing is my home now right like how do you oh, that's, how do you uh, I had that? a similar problem because a lot of my things like my books I love books yeah. real books not Kindle <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> and they were all at my mother's place they were mm. all in Germany and back then also we didn't have our own place like my husband and me were like I was in Shanghai, he was in Henan, we were like kind of long distance and Back all and this. Forth, yeah. So we didn't have a place where all the things were. That ah, made it even more difficult. It's worse, yeah. I can actually, I can understand why you would feel like, gosh, where do I belong if you don't have like a place? Like your stuff is, yeah. it was literally in different provinces <laughs> in China. And then it was two places in Germany. So I was like, oh, gosh. I feel a bit split. I think I have to get it all together, yeah. uh, which we now have, so. yeah. Yeah, I guess for me, like the times I've been in China, I would always bring, well, as much as possible. But like, I had some things at my at my parents' house, but it was not enough for me to feel like, oh, that's my home. Because mm -hmm. I left my parents' house the second time I left my parents' house. <laughs> They literally just turned my room into a photography room for my dad's 300 cameras. Like he's he's collecting old cameras. Seriously, there every 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 single camera is just in it's that room. That's useful. It my is. room was turned into like some kind of anything we don't need. We just put into this room. So I had trouble <laughs> finding my things in between all the things. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Well, then I would feel like if I went back like that, that's, I think that's why when I went back, I was like, it's not, this is not where I belong anymore because this is not, it's not my yeah. home. Like I lived here before and I love going back to my parents, but it's my parents' house now, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom moved, so that helped a lot too. Oh. Because after she moved, obviously everything changed. I didn't mm. have a room anymore there. <laughs> All my stuff was packed into some God. other place. I have no idea where. And she's like, whenever you need it, we just ship it to China. <clears throat> Yeah. Wow, nice mommy. So what would you say like if somebody is sitting here in China right now and thinking okay I've been here for four years. I look like a foreigner, but I feel Chinese inside. I speak Chinese all the time Chinese family or Chinese, you know surroundings like How how do you think they could move on from that like not so nice feeling of like being a little lost in between? Well, I can always say what helped me mm. First of all, having your own home with mm. your family, where you have all your stuff. Yeah, <laughs> buy your own furniture. Buy your right? own like, furniture, yeah, don't pictures. have other people's furniture. Oh, and, no. and I mean, we are in China, we want to integrate, we want to kind of be Chinese in mm. that way, because maybe our husbands are Chinese. Mm. But we are still like, I'm still German. But, but look at this hair, guys. <laughs> this will never go as Chinese hair. <laughs> no, I'm always called to be a Russian. But yeah, I'm yeah. still German. Yeah. So <laughs> I still like Ooh. that part of my culture. And I want my husband and also my baby now to learn this part. So what mm. we did is just, we just bought things we like. Like I buy food, I make my own food from home. Or I buy little I things. I have like German books, <laughs> I watch German movies, like things just from your home. You yeah, have, I think that's a great idea. Like things you also knew when you were a child, you really liked mm. in your home country. Like, mm. Just tiny little things. Missing, Maybe yeah. even just some 
clothes that's a German brand. Yeah. <laughs> Just small things that really help you feel home. Yeah. I actually, I, I started listening to more Danish radio. It's, I'm not really like in a place where I feel like I'm lost in between or anything, but it's just, it's like a little bit of home and like, I'm not homesick, but it's nice to, as you said, it's yeah. nice to have something from your own culture. And I'm just like Anna as well. Like I eat mostly my own food. One of you guys asked me to do a video <laughs> about my favorite Chinese snacks. I'm sorry for that guys, but it's probably not gonna happen because <laughs> I mostly what? just eat. You don't like chicken feet. <laughs> I'm there, I bought you an entire package. Damn. No. <laughs> I'm just eating all her all her kinder chocolate. German chocolate. German chocolate, <laughs> yes. An American f dried fruit, yeah. 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 So so really guys, if you are missing home or if you're feeling like China kind of is your home, but not a hundred percent. Then try to find things from your home, or especially if you want like foreign imported products, just search on Taobao. Like, it can get everything on Taobao now. I thought I, I was get Taobao German queen, but bread. You're, no, no, you're a Taobao yeah. queen. Yeah, I have to be proud of it. She knows. Even Chinese <laughs> people ask me for links. But I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Funny, right? <laughs> like, no, literally, funny. all the moms around you, they're like, where did you buy? Can you send me the mm -hmm. tabo link? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, of course. She should start her own shop. I actually think you should. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. Maybe yeah. I will. Yeah, so that's definitely a great way. I feel like when I'm eating something I know, I'm like, ah, so much more calm. <laughs> like, yeah. Who isn't? Who's eating something nice? Yeah. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chocolate is always number one, guys. Number and one. And coffee. Oh, yeah. And coffee. We got it. Um, yeah, so also, if you're like, I feel like if you're really lost, it's also a good idea to, well, either call somebody from home and talk to them about it. Just get it out there, you know, just share your feelings. Or if you are able to, you can also just take a little trip back home and, yep. you know, have a look around and be like, okay, this is my home or this is probably not my home, you know, <laughs> like. It works wonders. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Like often I go home and I'm like, or go to Denmark and I'm like, yeah, you know, it's Actually. nice to visit, but you know, <laughs> China is kind of my home. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, I'm it is my home. I do like to go home, but every time I go home, I'm thinking, you yeah, like it here. But yeah. I feel like a tourist now. Yeah, me too, me too. Like, I feel I'm like visiting, this, right? the Chinese tourists that do lots yeah. of daigo, like, yeah. oh, I have to buy all this stuff and I send back like 30 <laughs> kilos of <Wow>. German food. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come home and I arrive into mm. Beijing airport and I'm like, ah, I'm back in I Beijing. I do that too. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, when I'm in the taxi back to my university, I'm like, okay, thank God, I'm almost home. Like, I can just, yeah. I can lay down, I can do my own thing, I have my stuff here, like, yeah. It works. It works wonders. It works. <laughs> well, we hope that it was a, this was a little helpful, and you also get to see Anna again. So I just want to say thank you for being in the video and sharing your experience. Remember to check out her blog. I know I wasn't supposed to say that, but check out her blog. China's Lost Panda. Bit dead at the it's a bit sad, but if you if you're pregnant in China, if you are going to be, then I would definitely check out her experience because that's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's a different experience. It's a different experience. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching feel free to subscribe and also give us a thumbs up for this video and check out my social media instagram lena around facebook lena around and patreon lena around and we'll see you again very very soon Lingling and anna is out see ya and bye bye, bye, -bye.